Hi, this is Craig Hartman for VFDs.com and today we're going to talk about how to size a variable frequency drive such as the ones you see in front of me here. Now the first thing you'll need is a motor. The purpose of a variable frequency drive is to cause a motor to go at various speeds. So most motors that you will use with a variable frequency drive are three-phase induction motors the workhorse of the world today. Now it is possible to use a synchronous motor. If you wish to use a synchronous motor, contact us or the drive supplier. It is also possible to use a single phase motor, but you must use a very special type of single phase motor and you must use a very special single phase drive. And in that case, they still don't work that well. We highly recommend that you not use single phase motors with variable frequency drives. Now you may say, but I don't have three phase power. That's all right, the variable frequency drive can create that three phase power for you. You can get variable frequency drives rated for 120 volts, single phase input that will give you a 230 volt three phase output. The next thing you're going to want to do is take a look at your motor nameplate. Now the nameplate will be on the motor itself. We've removed this one so that you can see what it looks like. The first thing you want to check is that that motor is indeed a three phase motor. Second thing you're going to want to look at is the voltage. Make sure that the voltage on the motor matches the voltage on the variable frequency drive. And finally, the thing you're going to want to look at carefully is the FLA. FLA stands for full load amps. Every motor will have a full load amp rating and you need to make sure that the drive is rated at least as high as the full load amps rating. If the VFD is higher than the full load amps rating, that's fine, but it must be at least as much as the rating. And the final thing you're going to want to look at is what the overload is. Many drives come in constant torque or variable torque ratings. Ignore that. All drives are constant torque. But some drives will be rated for 110% overload for a minute, others for 150% overload for a minute, or even different ratings. So take a look at that and decide whether you're going to need that overload capacity on your motor and size the drive accordingly. If you have any other questions, please call us or our knowledgeable professionals here at VFDs.com or check out our extensive inventory. Thank you.